Champaholics coming back, and we just connected with A. Prater, the coach of the McChesney Park Slowpokes, for the SPC Week 1. We're going to hit him with that good games, have fun, as we do. I'm pretty sure it's just normal rules. I'm the Stank with Champaholics, still doing this one-handed. As uh, you can see, the bandage has come off, and the skin... Gar is looking pretty gnarly. So let's see what we got. I have my team, I think. I hope. Yep, here it is. Okay, I do have my team. I didn't imagine that I gened it. So it is here. We're going to select that. And he's got like the Ting Lu. He's got Terra type water. I've got Terra type rock. And we have the Grim Snarl, Breloom, Ting Lu. Dredna, that's going to be Swift Swim, Fluffy Houndstone, and the Pelipper. So what am I afraid of? I'm afraid of the Ting Lu using a Terra Blast with its ability in the rain. That's going to be troublesome. But let's see what he does bring out. He has to imagine that I probably lead the Grimmsnarl. As I'm willing to bet he might lead the uh, Ting Lu right off the bat just to start just laying in the damage. Or he could go Cyclozar. I'm pretty sure he does have the Cyclozar. You can use the, uh, what is it, the Shed Tail? I'm pretty sure you can use it. I don't, I don't think it's banned. So let's see. We actually don't see the Cyclozar here. So a Scizor lead would be kind of scary because a Scizor lead could outspeed the Grim Snarl before I even set up a Reflect. We do see the Ice Cube and the Serena. I will lead Grim Snarl anyway. We're probably just gonna have a game of chicken, whether he does Bullet Punch or I do Swap Out, which will give him the opportunity to actually get up like a Swords Dance. But let's see, he probably he probably imagines that I I do lead the Grim Snarl here. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. As Champaholics gets right down to the Sky Pillar Championship week one against Ape Raider and the McChesney Park Slowpokes. Okay, let's so let's see what his lead is. Wow, so he does lead the Scizor. That was something that I thought he might do. Um, so he could, he could, uh, go, let's see, he could go for a sword stance here. I might try to go out to coach. Or do I risk doing the reflect? Is he gonna bullet punch? I guess it, it's like is he easy banded? I'm uh I'm actually gonna gamble here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to reflect here. Bullet punch does come out. We're gonna see if he's banded. So I don't think that's banded damage. That's all that tells me. I'm going to go out in the coach here. Did he bring the Gastrodon? I don't remember. So that was just one thing I did want to test. I wanted to see if it would kill me. So he does SD. I want to see... Uh, no Gastrodon. I think I'm just going to Hydro. Aerial Ace does connect. Not a ton of damage there. Is going to swap out the Eject Pack, though. As I think I might be okay to... Not sure I want to go with Koopa. I mean, the Reflect is up. I just don't know how much damage a Bullet Punch will do behind Reflect. I want to say it won't kill me. But I don't really have the dexterity to, to do calcs here. 
So I'm just gonna let it rock. I'm gonna do head smash as a bullet punch does come down. Yeah, able to sustain with that reflect as our head smash does come off. That's gonna be a one hit KO. He probably knows we're banded now. As I will take a lot of that recoil damage here. Probably able to get off one more. Depending on what comes out. I guess it just depends on if I smell the priority or not. So able to trace the swift swim on the garden war. And that's going to outspeed Dredna. So what I'm actually going to do is I think I go Ting Lu every time. Could heavy slam. Yeah, I think that's what uh what has to happen here. So I'll take Koopa back. Ting Lu does come out. Able to get that special drop with the moon blast. Ow, that's gonna hurt quite a bit. That's gonna be life orbed. I want to say that. Let me check my own rain here. So rain is one turn. Uh, there's really not too much I can switch into here. That did a little bit more damage than I wanted. Because now the uh, the the. Uh, the Tinglu's looking pretty scary. I didn't run protect on this. I think the only way I live here is if I actually tear a rock. So if I tear a rock here, I could probably get off the heavy slam, but do I want to do it? Uh, I suppose. I suppose it's worth a shot. I think that might be worthwhile. It depends. I don't resist it. I just uh, am not super effective. will o -Wisp does come down. Good call on him to expect me to either switch out or, or do something different there. But Heavy Slam able to connect. And the rain is going to stop. So, he has to know that that, so what does he do? Does he switch out here if I heavy slam? What does he go? You can't take another one even though I am burned. But I am pretty fat. I think I might just heavy slam. I mean, he might be able to take me out with a moon blast. Or maybe he's got another. Okay, so he does withdraw. Was tempted to click the ruination there. Glub Glub does come out. It's gonna be the Ting Lu. As that heavy slam not really gonna connect on much of anything. As I think I might pull him now for Coach McGurk. Not sure if, uh, not sure if, uh, I mean, I could pull out the Breloom to stop the Guard of War again. I think maybe he thinks I switch out here. I'm actually going to go for a body press. So he does Dark Pulse. And that's actually not enough, but he does get the flinch. Probably expecting me to switch out on that. As the reflect does go down. Rather unfortunate for us, he did get the flinch. I think even with burned, a body press would have did a decent amount of damage there. So he's got to be thinking, like, what is it that I'm actually doing? I want to see that he does have the flamethrower. I know he does. As we do see a withdrawal. As Carney Man does come out, that's gonna be the Quake of All. 
As a body press does land, that's not going to be that great. Burn does... Uh, that burn was probably actually for the best because... I want to say the Aqua Step, if he would have gotten an Aqua Step on, that would have been bad news for me. As I think uh, Quake, Quake of All, that's a little bit faster than the Breloom. So what I think I want to do here is I'll go back into Coach. Or will I? I could bullet seed. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might do that. Or go back into coach. I don't know if he could pick me up. But the aqua step will. Yeah, I'm gonna go in a breloom here. Because, let's see, if he switches out, what does he go? He might go Serena. Maybe. Am I able to pick this up with a Bullet Seed? I think he might switch here. He might think that I'm Scarf. I'm actually going to Swords. He does Aqua Step. So I'm actually going to Swords Dance. Uh, let's see if I can pick him up with a mock punch. Yep, and that's gonna be enough damage. So did see the Aqua Step opt to go for the priority. Now I see the Queenly Majesty come out for the Serena probably. That's 72 base speed versus Breloom. As the Ice Q does come out. I'm not sure. Oh, so Ice Face. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. First physical hit makes take to deal zero neutral damage. It's Ice Face is broken. Okay. So if it takes zero damage, I'm actually just gonna bullet seed. It's not going to be a ton of damage, but I will be able to do that at least. Oh man, that's a lot. Do see a berry activate. As another hit does come off, and that's going to take down the ice Q through the ice face. As that was named Gert Bilbo. <laughs> oh no. So I am a little bit afraid of this thing. So if this thing is is scarfed, it, it'll take down my Breloom pretty easily. Because I have to assume that he has Queenly Majesty. I feel like doing a gunk shot. I mean, I, I don't think I'm full invested speed, neither. I don't think I am. Um, it might be better to go out to coach here. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go out to coach. I don't know if that was the best play. I am kind of... The dexterity is making me use a lot of my time. Because I, I only have one hand and I have the controller like pinned up against the desk. As we do see the U-turn come out. Not looking to stick around. That still would have hurt the Breloom pretty good though. Because I, I want to say Gardevoir can't come out. Gardevoir can only come out really on the Dreadnought. As it looks like Ting Lu does come out. I'm gonna have to Hydro. 
And I know I'm going to catch a dark, dark Pulse, and that's going to be enough to take me down. Uh, I think I'm okay with going Dreadnought now. I just have to hit this head smash is all. I could liquidation. Uh, cause what, is, what does he have? Gardevoir, Serena. He could go back Serena. I think I actually have to head smash here. Or it still might be a two hit KO. Even with the liquidation. Cause it is rain. Yeah, I think actually the best thing to do here is liquidation. Because he, he could go into Serena, and I expect that, but he's switching into something that's faster than him. So liquidation does come off. It's just the if I two hit KO it thing. And we do get a defense drop. Because it looks like it does sport the leftovers. Liquidation again. I am banded. Yeet! Um, I don't know if this... I know it has the Queenly Majesty. I can't type with this... My non-dominant hand. Uh, what does he have? I don't think it gets priority. I don't think so. But he does Terra. He Terra's the water, so it was already resisted. And there is a defense drop. I don't know if... Does Terra water resist it any more than grass does already? You know what I'm saying? No, I, I wouldn't think that it did. And even with the defense drop, I... I don't really see that working out. So Serena does go down. I'm going to check my rain. I, yeah, I imagine the Guard of War does come out. But I can't switch at this point. At this point, I have to stay. So, yeah, I'll liquidation, but I'm going to catch a Moonblast. Dreadnought does go down. Uh, it does have the Life Orb. Rain is gone now. Okay. So I think I could do here is Light Screen. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So even, so Brain is gone, so it doesn't matter that it traced uh, Swift Swim. Will-O-Wisp does go off. I don't think it has any way to recover, right? I don't, I'm not sure. Gardevoir, what does it have? Calm Mind. Uh... Healing Wish, that's not going to work. Life do. I just might be safe here and taunt. Nope. Okay, so it does Moon Blast. That was safer for me, honestly. As I will send out... I didn't really see how much uh, health it had. But I think I could go Breloom here. It is quad resisted, but I think I can mock punch it. Yeah. 
want to say I can uh, mock punch the the Chien. Was it Chien Yu? Wu Chien. Nah, this is gonna bug me now. What is this? Chiu. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna mock punch here. And that's gonna be it. Mock punch on deck as Breloom and Champaholics take a win in their first game against Ape Raider and the McChesney Park Slowpokes in a dynamic game here at Champaholics Stadium for the Sky Pillar Championship week one. I've been Stank with Champaholics and we'll see you next time.